the best organisation that I've come across in recent times in terms of long-term planning, trying to be sensitive towards what are the changes and what the challenges are is Brisbane City Council. And most impressive about Brisbane City Council and they, is that they did this in an environment which is intensely political. So you think about trying to get people lined up behind a vision. Imagine trying to do that when you've got politics of Liberal and Labor behind you as well. Scenario is a great way to deal with complexity. Running a city, um, which Brisbane City Council has to do, is hugely complex. And um, we've got scenarios with mobility and accessibility and green and clean. And the challenge is how you actually um, bring them together. And a lot of people think that they're two opposing scenarios, but the challenge is how do you actually multi-layer a city? so that we can have a city where people move around and have a high level of biodiversity. And there's a great example, a piece of uh, road arterial near Karawatha bushland had to be upgraded and the engineers worked with the biodiversity people right from the beginning and partnered with the university to do a flora and fauna study. And so they identified that the animal movement patterns of the animals were going to be um, at threat from the uh, road upgrade. So they built into the road nine different crossings. So they um, built the road up to put a tunnel at one point, a land bridge, and there's even these fantastic telegraph poles with um, uh, wires for the squirrel gliders and possums to get across. And there's an ongoing um, study to see how they're working and it's a fantastic example of how you can take two elements in a scenario that some people might go, are oh, they're different scenarios? But the fact is Brisbane's a really complex multi-layered city and um, through my work of Brisbane at Brisbane City Council, um, Brisbane really wants to grow but maintain a really strong natural presence. So that's an ongoing challenge. I've been working in Brisbane City Council using scenarios in one way or another for the last um, nine years, nearly ten, and we've used them in multiple contexts with different stakeholder groups from cross-sections of council employees to managers to councillors to try and grapple with the future of Brisbane as people in Brisbane say they'd like it to be. How do you actually um, create that future? And as soon as you start thinking about the long term, you bring in so many variables and then if you put the long term future of Brisbane in a regional context or a national context or a global context, suddenly there's too much information for people to deal with. So therefore you really need, you're obliged to provide them with tools. And one of those tools that works really well is scenarios. And one reason they work well is because they're stories. And ever since people sat around fires and could talk, they've been telling stories. They've been telling stories um, for learning, for entertainment, for all kinds of reasons. So it makes complete sense to use um, a method of storytelling and the work for scenarios is the research that goes in beforehand to really understand all those different trends and issues and um, contexts and possible uncertainties and then reconfigure them in a number of variables and then help people stand in that future and understand that there's all sorts of ways that things could go and that to create the future of Brisbane has to be, Brisbane has to stand in each of those scenarios to try and figure out um, what it wants to be and how we might be able to get there by leveraging off different events and things like that. It's very important to present scenarios visually, not just as written text stories, but to try and find always to present them with some sort of metaphor or symbol or we used to spend quite a bit of time coming up with it with like a marketing agency really at that agency trying to find what was the tagline or the title that would capture the essence of the scenario because what you're doing is trying to stimulate the part of the brain that thinks in metaphors as well because that part of the brain can make sense of information